1번 대화를 듣고 남자가 사기로 한 탄력을 고르시오. Fancy meeting you here. Hi, Jack. What are you doing here? Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you here. I want to buy a desk calendar. Have you made up your mind? Actually, not yet. Can you help me find a good one? Hmm. How about this one with the beautiful mountain scenery? Not bad, but I want something unique. You mean like these ones with portraits or abstract paintings? Yes, and I also like this calendar with the rare animals. Oh, look at this one. It contains pictures of old temples. Fantastic. It'll help me to relax when I'm stressed out. Okay, I'll take it. That's a good choice. At least you won't get sick of it. 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 심장으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Peter, what happened to my CD player? What do you mean by that? I mean, what happened to it? You borrowed my CD player last night and now it doesn't work right. The fast forward button is stuck. Oh, really? But I didn't do anything to it. What do you mean you didn't do anything to it? It didn't happen by itself. Well, I didn't do it. I just played it and there was no problem or anything. You didn't drop it or anything, did you? Well, it fell out of my backpack while I was riding my bike, but it didn't break. Fell out of your backpack? Then how can you say you didn't do it? It's all your fault. 3번. 다음을 듣고 남자가 설명하는 대상으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Some people say that starting a trip without this instrument is like a cowboy not having a gun. This instrument tells you the direction you are heading. It is carefully balanced in the center. Because its needle is a magnet, one end of it will always come to rest pointing north while the other end points south. This instrument helps pilots, sailors, hunters, and other travelers to get from one place to another. On a foggy day, it would be particularly difficult to fly a plane or sail a boat without this instrument. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자가 전화를 걸어 확인한 사항이 아닌 것을 고르시오. Hello, Northfield Set Design Company. Hello, Mr. Harris. This is Mary Hoffman. Oh, Ms. Hoffman. How are you? Fine. By the way, did you finish with the stage floor? We have only six days left before the concert. Almost done, ma'am. Now we only have to smooth the surface down. How about sound systems? They're already installed, ma'am. Okay, and is the paint job on the wall done? Yes, ma'am. It is painted in pure white. All right. Did you put up a notice to protect passers-by from accidents? Yes, I did. I put up a notice saying, keep off. Great. Thank you, Mr. Harris. 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 이어 여자가 말할 내용으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. I was so disappointed yesterday. I can't forget about it. Oh, what happened? Well, I went to a new department store near the campus to buy a pair of shoes. I know that place. They sell all kinds of stuff for half price. Yeah, that's why I went there. However, the service was terrible. Really? But I heard it was quite a nice place to shop. No, it isn't. I don't know how many times I called the clerk. I couldn't even use my credit card. They didn't accept it. It's nonsense. I can understand how you felt at that time. I had a similar experience. Oh, did you? Tell me about it. 
6번 다음을 듣고 쇼핑에 대해 여자가 충고하는 바로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Your attention, please. Before you go out for shopping, let me give you some tips. Except for shopping at garage sales or flea markets, shopping here is not done by bargaining. That is, you cannot ask for the lower price for an item that has the price tag. This does not mean, however, that everything costs the same everywhere. In fact, you can find a big difference in prices between stores, so it is a good idea to shop around for the best price. Once again, the more shops you stop by, the better price you will get. 7번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 받을 거스름 돈이 얼마인지 고르시오. Can I help you? Well, tomorrow is my girlfriend's birthday, and I'd like to buy her something special. Oh, I see. Do you have anything particular in mind? Yes, a gold chain and a pendant. Well, here are the gold chains. You can get a long or a short one. This long one is nice. How much is it? It's $180. That's a little bit expensive for me. Do you have anything cheaper? Here's another one. It's a lot like the other one, and it's only $120. Okay, I'll take it. And how much is that pendant? It looks pretty. It's just $20. All right, I'll buy it too. Here's $200. Thanks. Here's your change. 8번. 다음을 듣고 두 사람의 역할을 다르게 짝지은 것을 고르시오. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I want to introduce you to a woman. Her name is Janice Newton. I have an enormous amount of respect for her. She began her career as a lawyer in 1995. Since then, she has been fighting for the rights of the poor and the forgotten. This is the reason why I volunteered to work for her. Now Janice is going to tell you something about her election promises. Let's give her a warm welcome. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate your kind introduction. And I want to thank all of you who came out here today in this cold weather. You know, the coming election is very important to all of us, and I'll need the support of each and every one of you. I will continue to fight for the rights of the poor if I'm elected. I promise I'll never disappoint you. Believe me, I'll do my best. 9번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 전화를 건 목적을 고르시오. Good morning. May I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your computer class. What kind of class do you want? I just want to know how to use the Internet. No problem. We have an Internet basic class on Wednesday and Friday afternoons. Okay, good. Could you tell me how much it costs? It costs $60 for one month. That sounds fine. Well, if you want to register, please pay a visit to our office at any time. Sure, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. 10번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자에게 부탁하는 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, Mr. Lee. Can I talk to you for a while? Sure. What's on your mind? You know, we have to organize our clubs this week. Uh-huh. We're organizing a basketball club for girls. We have already signed up several members. Good for you. What do you want me to do? We want you to be in charge of our club. Without a guidance teacher, we can't register our club. Hmm. 
but I'm not very good at basketball. You don't have to worry about that. We can manage all the activities for ourselves. You are very enthusiastic. Okay, I'll help you as much as possible. Thank you very much, Mr. Lee. Shibilbon. Tam Pure Bomenso, Teware Duko, Namzaga Yonga, Hangong Pere Kurushia. Good morning. What can I do for you? I want to fly from San Francisco to Honolulu next week. Certainly. Is this a round trip? No, just one way. What is your departure date? Thursday. I mean, Thursday night. Let me see. I'm sorry. All seats are booked out on Thursday night. How about Thursday afternoon? No, Thursday afternoon's no good. Then can I leave on Friday morning? Yes, you can. If I leave on Friday morning, will I be in Honolulu before 2 o'clock? I'm going to a reception and I can't be late. The departure time is 9 a.m. and you will arrive in Honolulu at 12.30 p.m. So you won't be late. Great. I'll take that flight. 12번. 대화를 듣고 숙제에 관한 남자의 설명과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, this is Sunnyside Farm. How can I help you? Hi, I heard your farm is having a harvest festival tomorrow. Yes, that's right. Can you tell me what kinds of events you're having? Certainly. We'll have horse rides and a pie baking contest. You can also pick your own apples. That sounds like fun. And can you tell me how much you're charging? It's $10 for adults and $5 for children. Okay. Well, we'd really like to come. Is it easy to find? It's very easy. We're on Pine Road, just off Highway 83. Oh, yes. I think I know where you are. When do you think is the best time to get there? Well, any time between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. But the main events will take place in the afternoon. Okay, thank you for your help. I'll get there tomorrow afternoon with my kids. 13번. 다음 그림의 상황에 가장 적절한 대화를 고르시오. 1. How much is this five-person camping tent? It's on sale for 30% off, $200. 2. Can I camp here on the beach? No, but you can use a campsite over there. 3. Is there a problem, officer? You just drove through the red light. 4. Have you finished packing for your camping trip? Not yet. I'll tell you when I'm done. 5. Hey, you shouldn't swim that far out by yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get back right away. 14번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Dave. You are coming to my house this afternoon, aren't you? Yes, I am. You have told me so much about your garden. I've got to see it. Gardening is a great hobby. It's good to work to make things grow. I suppose so, but it must be a lot of hard work. All that digging and weeding and spraying. I enjoy it. It's a good exercise. What's your hobby? I collect DVDs, especially music DVDs, and last week I got a new DVD player. You did? I bet that cost you plenty. It cost more than a standard stereo, but it's worth it. Is it that good? Sure. You can get the feeling of a live concert in your own living room. 15번. 대화를 듣고 
여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Are you looking for something? Yes, I'm a little lost here. I work in this hospital. Maybe I can help you. Where do you want to go? I'm supposed to get a chest x-ray. Have you checked in at the registration desk yet? No. Do I have to go there first? Yes. They'll do the paperwork there. Then they'll send you down to x-ray. I'll take you over to the registration desk. Thank you very much. This hospital is so confusing. 16번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Can I help you? Yes. Can you tell me where the butter is? Yes, beside the milk. I looked there, but I couldn't see any. Maybe it's sold out. It shouldn't be. I just got some more this morning. But I'm telling you, it's not there. All right, then come with me and we'll look for it together. You know, there wasn't any on the shelf. Here it is, right beside the milk. That's strange. Anyway, I'm so sorry for wasting your time. 17번 다음을 듣고 데니가 여동생에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Danny's sister loves painting and spends much of her time doing it. Everybody says that she is very talented. Next month, a big art contest will be held. The winner's paintings will be exhibited in a famous art gallery. She tells Danny she really wants to enter the contest, but she's afraid that her work isn't good enough. Danny knows that his sister has the talent, but she doesn't feel confident. So he wants to encourage her to participate in the contest. In this situation, what would Danny most likely say to his sister? <laughs>